I'm Kim. And I'm John. We, we are, are the, the Budget, Budget Renovators. Renovators. John is a professional piano player at a dueling piano club in Denver. But by day, he trades in his instruments for tools and is a general contractor. We run a thriving business together called Green with Envy Design. But we're different from all the rest. We are cheap. Kim is a dedicated mom to our four children, a real estate broker, and a licensed general contractor. She's also incredibly funny, beautiful, and has mad dance skills. Kim, you totally hijacked my original script. Shh. Everything is fine. It's all true. Please continue. Okay, but seriously, we love running a business together. We help people realize their dream of owning a beautiful home, either by purchasing a not-so-dreamy new house and fixing it up, or keeping them in the house they're in and making it awesome. All right, well, we're gonna be embarking on this new uh, laundry room edition here. Um, right there. Already sort of drew out, uh, kinda, the line where the roof is gonna be. We're doing a gable roof. But we need to get rid of um, this tree. I think we're just gonna take the whole thing down. It'll be more exciting. Oh my god! <laughs> Murray got so scared! <laughs> How's the mudding going, baby? Just like frosting a cupcake. Huh. Alright, so we've got uh, most of the drywall done here, but most importantly, quality time with each other. <laughs> Signing off. Now that the basic structure is pretty much done, we're almost done with the drywall and hopefully paint. Now we get to do the fun stuff, the renovation. So I'm starting to work on um, finishing up our countertop here that we made. We're going to start staining this. Um, you can probably see on the cabinet top, we use pine, which is really soft. And we use old pine, so it's already a little dinged up. And that's kind of the look we're going for anyway. I can't seem to find a little paintbrush right now, so I'm just using a Q-tip. Um, not good. Actually, it doesn't look bad. That looks natural, actually. Okay, that is not what I want either. So I'm gonna put a thicker coat. So I'm gonna let it completely dry now, and then I'm gonna go back and so sand it down, and hopefully that'll look a little bit more natural. But I just, I really, 
I don't mind it looking um, irregular, but I just don't want any of the wood putty showing. Oh, now we're putting together the last couple doors for our cabinets. Uh, these are for the lowers. I um, already have the pieces cut. Um, have the tongues out and they fit like this. And the styles into the rails. Like Beautiful. That. A shaker style door That's with right. wainscoting. So a little dab -do -do -ya. A little dab -do -ya. And it should be mentioned that this was all leftover wainscoting we had from another project. And so we some, really do like to reuse our materials. And some old pine board. And uh, repurpose. Here's the other ones I've, I've done. I've In these done. shows, is not everything always goes so well, so right. you have to try and try again. So, and I, we made this whole thing from scratch. And we need to just need to paint it. I need to paint. Um, I had to redo this one because that warping had happened. So I cut it off, and now they're lying nice and flat. And uh, we've got some nice um, laundry room cabinets. Well, we will show you when they are um, ready to go. Checking out for now. 10-4. Okay, so we are almost done with our floor. I think we're going to put in some grout. Um, just because it is a mud room, I don't want any moisture getting in any of the tiny little gaps. All right, so we're finishing up this uh, laundry room addition. We've got uh, siding up, got the last wall to do over here. Let's check in on Kimmy. Let's see what she's doing. Hi there. Hi. Gorgeous. What are we working on? I just put this uh, baseboard at the bottom to kind of frame it in nicely, and now I'm just painting over it. Put these on sliders. Nice deep storage for kids' shoes and all that jazz. I'm gonna paint the insides of those. Yep. But um, and then I'm gonna get started. I got finally got I used got some um, curtains that were on clearance for about twenty dollars um, to use as fabric for the window cushions. I'm gonna pull out here. I've got all the um, lights up. And cabinets are hung. Once again, these are all cabinets that we made. And the lower cabinets as well. And our beautiful uh, countertop I that we also made countertop. from scratch. I love the countertop too. It's a nice rustic feel. It's... Dan? Hello? Hi. Well, what are you doing? Why are you beating? I just wanted to. I just wanted to see what you were doing. I wanted to show them the laundry room. I'm just putting in the last drawer. But I have a a meeting with those clients at the house, so I gotta finish fast and then I gotta get dressed. You look mighty fancy. I know my hair is on. I'll take it down. I have to change. I'm not complaining. Oh, since you're here. Yeah. And you're yes. videotaping. Yes. Let me show you. Okay, so remember how I got the doors for at Habitat for Humanity for twenty dollars? I do. Okay, so here they are. Here. Here's one. It's lovely. It's a barn door. And then look at this. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Twenty dollars. It... This is on a magnet. But the kids don't understand why we have half a door. <laughs> it's really a full door. Right. But not bad. They're yeah. used. It's awesome. I had to cut it in half anyway, and this is solid. So, once I finish the drawer, I think we're good to go in the laundry room. And then, on to the next project. It's looking beautiful.